What up Voppy users? So today what I'm going to go through is exactly how to set up time zones so that when you have a client that works in multiple time zones, it's able to update the time zone of the contact and then actually output the correct time zones that the customer will be booking. And then once the customer chooses a time in their time slot, it'll actually convert it back in the agency's time zone and make sure those time zones are booked completely correctly. And if you're wondering who I am, my name is John, John Joshin, and I've actually worked with over 50 different businesses in a multitude of different industries, helping them with many different things, such as AI, ads, website builds, a multitude of other things. And not only that, we're also launching a school community, as you can see right here. So these are the different courses we're dropping, and we're gonna be dropping a ton more courses, and it's just 100% free value for you. So. Nevertheless, let's jump right into this video. Cool, so now that we're actually in Vapi, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up and the flow from step one to step eight of the different things that you need to add to make sure this actually works correctly. So you can see right here, all I have in this actual Vapi is one section of the time zone, right, in the prompting. And you can see right here, all we're gonna name it is the customer time zone because you can't tell it exactly what to do. You gotta give it the idea of what to do. So right here it says, the time zone of the customer is required prior to scheduling the appointment. You can find the time zone by asking or requesting the state or city the customer lives in, right? So you can ask the time zone and that's what Bobby will do. If they don't know their own time zone, which happens quite often, right? We're gonna be just asking them, hey, what city do you live in or what state do you live in? and then Vapi will convert that completely automatically, right? And this is only part of it because obviously this is just getting the information. Now you actually need to send this to your CRM or send this to high level and update that contact accordingly. So the way to do that is we use a tool call. So you can see right here, you wanna make sure that the async is actually selected on so that it just calls it and doesn't wait for the response or anything like that, right? So. Right here, we're just naming it update customer time zone. And we're putting in this prompting right here. So this is the actual tool. I'm gonna to read it out for you. It says, the tool is meant to submit the customer's time zone into the CRM and then update that CRM accordingly. So when a customer says their time zone or where they are in the actual country, you are to use this tool and the properties below. So when the customer tells you any of the information such as the customer time zone, if any of these are available, call the tool again and submit the information you are provided. So what that means is, right in this first one, it's making sure that you actually request the time zone, and then this tool will automatically submit the minute that it hears any time zones requested. So we can see right here, this is the actual property we have built, customer time zone, and it says this is the time zone of the customer. For example, if the customer is in Eastern time zone, then you submit EST. If they're in Central, then you submit CST. So it's pretty simple. It's just submitting the time zones into the CRM. And now we actually need to convert this to make sure the CRM gets updated properly. So to convert that, you're gonna send it to a make automation, right? And there's one thing that you're gonna need that'll help out a ton. So we use a special prompt for our make automation. So we can see in this one, right? It's um, a chat completion and we give it all the different options of the time zones, and these are the high-level conversions to make sure that it actually updates the time zones correctly. So right here it says, you'll be provided with the time zones similar to EST, PST, CST, or other time zones, and you must reformat the time zone to match the option below. So these are all the different options that high-level is able to provide, and we just put these all in here, and these are the different options that ChatGPT is able to select from, essentially. So if I keep scrolling down, it also says, you will be provided with an example time zone, match the time zone below, right? And right here is that, uh, that tool call, and this is the customer's time zone that we submit through. So with that, we, so this one, we need to actually update the customer's contact. So we're gonna be actually searching up the contact in high level. So with that, we're gonna see right here, we're looking up just the customer number, for example, and you submit that information directly through. And if the contact exists, right, then we're going to just update the contact accordingly 
really, really simple. You just update the time zone, right? And if the contact does not exist, then we need to create a simple contact for right now, which is location name, phone, time zone. And it creates a quick contact. And then both of those options, the time zone will be updated for that contact. So that part is really simple. Once the contact is actually created, that's only the first half of it. Because now we need to actually make sure the booking part is correct. Because obviously the CRM may be updated now, but Voppy doesn't know how to convert it, when to convert it, all those different things. So we need to make sure that this part is good to go. So for example, this is just a simple booking automation. So right here, this part is just formatting the time, checking the times. And now we need to look up right here. So let me just kind of backtrack it. So we're getting the free available slots, right? And then we keep going a little bit further. And this one is just outputting a couple times so we don't get spammed by a hundred different times and have to convert all of those, right? And then this next one is looking up the customer's time zone, right? So we're gonna make sure to look it up. You wanna make sure to parse that response. And then with that customer's time zone, we're gonna reformat it. So for example, let me just kind of go through this quick prompt with you guys. So right here, right at the top, it says you'll be provided with a couple of options. Your job is to reformat the time zones into the client's time zone, right? And you wanna make sure it outputs it correctly and always give it examples. So here's one example we use. Output the times with just commas between them. So this makes sure that it's formatted all completely correctly. You can see right here, it says the output is interchangeable and you must convert the times based on the time zone specified by the client's time zone. And this right here is just an absolute copy paste of this section, just to make sure that Vobby or ChatGPT is actually able to understand the time zone correctly and what the client is looking for. So for example, we're using an example right here, which is a negative five. So assuming that the agency's time zone is negative five, we're actually gonna be converting the client's time zone into negative four. So this is the negative five, and this is the negative four, and that's just a quick example so ChatGPT knows exactly what to do and how to do it, right? So in this part, we just put basic information. This is the client's time zone. These are the times on the calendar that you can actually book, and then double checking like, hey, make sure there's no extra spaces, no extra stuff in there. And that gets sent right over to Boppy, and we give it some context too. So these are some available times, and this 54 result is this right here, which is the output of converted time zone. And then it also says these are the times in the customer time zone, which is blank. So it just makes sure that Voppy is actually able to remember and know for a fact during the call, hey, this is actually the customer's time zone, right? And then it also gives it the reference of right now, just because it's always useful to throw that in there. And then from there, it's always going to submit in the customer's time zone. So when you're actually booking, it's going to submit that selected slot of the customer into the time zone. So now we need to actually update the time zone so that it books for the agency account correctly. Because if the time zones are messed up, everything will be messed up. So right here, I'm gonna kinda go through this real quick. You can see right here, we're telling it you're gonna be given a time zone and we're actually gonna convert that time zone over. Same thing, give it a quick example. And then if I keep going down, you can see this is the time that needs to be converted to the agency time zone. So this negative five is the agency account or whatever your client's time zone is in, not the leads time zone, the client's time zone, right? And you're converting the leads time zone right here. So it's just making sure it converts it. And with those couple steps, it'll actually do the start time, do the end time, make sure all the time zones are correct. Then the goal, obviously, just simple, book that actual appointment correctly. So after watching that entire video, you should have a great understanding of step one to step eight on exactly how to set up the time zones and make sure that every booking is booked 100% correctly. Because we both know it, if the customer is getting a booking at one time, and then in reality, the time is completely incorrect and it's three hours off because of their time zone issues, then they're not gonna show up. There's gonna be so many different issues with that. So this is an absolute necessity 
every single time you work with someone who works in multiple different time zones. Alongside with that, we have a free school community where we're giving away a ton of value completely for free. So just join in there and this is the picture of the actual course and different information that we have right now, but we're always gonna be expanding on different topics to add and just provide us insight with things that you guys would wanna see. So nevertheless, I really hope this video helped you guys and drop a comment below with different ideas of exactly what you wanna see and different things that we should add.